Hey, what's up guys? Dragon here from the Brotherhood of the Stag, and today I've got a video just going over the basic layout buttons uh, for Halo 5 Guardians, uh, and just what they mean and, and what they're good for, and basically uh, what what they're not. So, um, hopefully this will this will help you select the the layout Slayer. that's that's best for you. So yeah, so in this video I'm just going to go through the the different layout options that are available for you. Uh, and, and what they're, they're best for. So uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, so obviously the, the first one here is the uh, default layout which you can see on your screen now. So the, the default layout is uh, basically you, you've got your, your fire button uh, or, or you fire your weapon with the, the right trigger. Uh, that's pretty standard for, for most games. Um, Smart link or, or the ADS or aim down sight that is your left trigger uh, that's very similar to a lot of other games uh, with well with their default layouts uh, so Call of Duty for example would be one um, now with the with the Y button again very similar to a lot of games that's your your switch weapon uh, X reload Again, very, very similar. Uh, your A button is jump or, or clamber. Uh, clamber being when you jump up to a ledge and you just need that little bit extra to get over it. You press A again and clamber up or you can hold A uh, and clamber up. So those are very, very basic, very similar to, to the majority of games in terms of the layout. Uh, for the, the things that are not so much uh, common or not so common, uh, you have the uh, you click in the right uh, thumbstick for the crouch, uh, sprint and uh, zoom is, is clicking in the, the left thumbstick uh, and you've got your, your grenade, uh, throw grenade on the, the left bumper and the melee ground pound or the shoulder charge on your right bumper. Um, so, so this is your, your basic default layout, it, it's, it's alright. Uh, it will suit a lot of people, uh, especially if you don't go for um, melee or the ground pound too often. Uh, and uh, it does have its downsides in terms of you have to take your your thumb off the the aim stick or, or the right, uh, sorry the yeah the right thumb stick in order to jump unless you use a claw type motion. Um, so that that's really its downsides, but. All in all, it's actually pretty decent. I use default. Or I used to use default quite a bit. Uh, definitely did in in the previous previous games uh, and in a lot of a lot of other games. In fact, Advanced Warfare when that first came out was the the only time I really really looked at changing the um, button layout on on a game, and I ended up going for uh, what was it Tactical? I think it is. Um, which just switched a few things around and allowed me to do drop shots etc a bit easier so that's the the default layout uh, so next up here we have Southpaw now Southpaw is basically the same thing but flipped so you will see on uh, your left trigger you now have fire uh, on your left bumper button it is now the melee um, and ground pound spartan charge that sort of thing and then over on the the right side we've got throw grenade for the the left uh, trigger and uh, for the, the right uh, for the right bumper the RB button we have the thrust pack so that's slightly different it's not quite flipped around um, so yeah and and smart link if we if we look for that we've got smart link uh, just sitting there on the um, right button or right thumb button uh, so you click that in in order to ADS so so that that's self poor basically uh, so that is is good for I, I guess left-handed people or people that are a bit more uh, twitchy with their the left hand uh, if they want to to shoot with that or if they like throwing grenades with the the right hand instead uh, uh, the third one that we've got is boxer uh, so again, that's slightly different. We got the melee on the the left trigger, uh, and fire weapon is back to the right trigger. Throw grenade is now the right bumper button. Uh, so that's quite similar to uh, Call of Duty layout that I use the the tactical one there. Um, X is still is still re uh, reload, 
A is still jump, Y is still switch, uh, B is sprint. Um, so, so there are a few little little different things there with uh, the the melee being on the the left trigger and thruster pack being on the left bumper. Um, but again, all in all, this is a, a pretty decent layout, pretty similar, I guess, to to the Call of Duty um, to the Call of Duty layout in a way. Um, again, I'm probably not going to use this one, but. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it all comes down to the individual style. Uh, so if you are used to the, the default Call of Duty, this may be one uh, for you just to, to play around with at least to see to see how it feels. Um, so next up, what do we have here? We have... Green Thumb. Now this is one that I definitely looked at using myself. Uh, so we, we pull in the, the left trigger to zoom in or ADS uh, with SmartLink. Uh, we've got the, the left bumper to throw a grenade. Fire your weapon is on the, the right trigger like it should be. Now obviously I'm a little biased with that one. Um, and thrust the pack again on the, the right bumper. We got crouch with B, switch weapon uh, with Y. Now that's pretty pretty standard stuff there. Uh, X is reload and A is jump. Uh, melee is is when you click in the the um, right right bumper button there, or sorry, right thumbstick. Uh, so that that's pretty pretty similar to another Call of Duty layout that that I used um, in Advanced Warfare. But that is a good layout, and uh, if you if you tend to be a bit twitchy with the bash, that would definitely be one that uh, I would recommend. So if you're if you're melee heavy go for that it's actually pretty easy to use and, and and pretty fun to play with i guess um so yeah that 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 would be the green thumb uh i'm definitely going to try that one out um in game uh but i i haven't yet to be honest so the the next one up bumper jumper so bumper jumper again is quite similar to um uh, well the previous ones except the main part here that we're getting rid of is the A button for jump. Uh, so we've gone back to uh, having the grenade uh, or throwing the grenade on the the left trigger uh, with uh, zoom in or, or smart link being when you click in the the right thumbstick and um, the the left bumper button is now your jumping clamber. So it allows you to keep your thumb on your aim and and just use basically that thumb to aim uh, you can click in click it in you zoomed in uh, once you get shot it pops out but you don't have to hold it down which is great uh, crouch you crouch by clicking in your your walk uh, or the, the left bumper uh, sorry the left thumbstick uh, which is good x is still reload uh, sorry x isn't reload uh, b is actually reload x is the the thruster pack y is still switch weapon uh, the melee is your uh, your left, sorry, your right bumper. God, I've been doing this uh, a bit too long today. So uh, it's your your right bumper to to bash somebody. Uh, fire your weapon, still the right trigger. Uh, so that's definitely one worth considering uh, to getting getting that jump off the A button. Uh, so it means that you can always keep your thumb basically looking for targets and tracking your targets uh, you don't have to to release it in order to uh, to jump up and get out of the way or anything like that so you can just boost out of the way um, if you you need to quickly with a little claw motion for for x um, but the majority of the time if you jump you can move a little bit to the side and so forth and you don't have to take your your hand or your thumb off the the smart link or um sorry off the off the um off the control in order to to track your targets when you do so so that's definitely going to help out those sort of people that do go a bit into into battle and uh, jump up and down uh, so what do we got next here we have recon so recon is a uh, another layout surprise uh, but basically it's it's a little little similar to a previous one uh, except we've got reload being switched out here again so reload has ended up on the 
the right bumper uh, so this one I, I can sort of see where they're coming from uh, fire your weapon hit reload same finger pretty easy to use um, but personally I, I don't see too much of a an advantage doing this one at all um, but that that's the major change on there uh, so that one's recon and now we got fish stick so fish stick uh, is also available in uh, the frozen foods aisle apparently um, but that one that one's just basically putting your fire weapon and grenades on the same side again um, this is very similar to uh, another one that we looked at before uh, except um, we've got your smart link again on the left trigger thrust pack on the left bumper uh, nothing too major going on with fish stick alright green thumb we've done that one uh, we've done fish stick yeah basically uh, green thumbs probably the, the one for me it, it's very similar to fish stick but um, yeah, that, I was just flicking between the two there. Anyway, we've got Halo 4. So this is the Halo 4 layout. If you played Halo 4, this is basically the the same as that, um, as the same as the default layout on Halo 4. So if you played that, you're used to that, you've been playing that, go for it. Now this one is uh, is a is a parachuter. Um, so again, zoom in with your left trigger, fire with your right. Uh, throw a grenade with your left bumper, thrust pack forward with your uh, with your left uh, right bumper, switch out your weapons with Y, reload with X, that sort of thing, very easy. Um, pretty standard actually for for the for the layout uh, in, in all honesty. Um, so basically it's the same as green thumb but with crouch and your sprint swapped out. Um, yeah, nothing really, nothing really major there, uh, but it, it's, it's a good op uh, good option, um, well, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you don't mind A being your, your jump button, uh, so Hell Jumper is the last one I believe, that's where you use your, uh, we use your left bumper in order to jump up, so it keeps your, keeps your button, oh, it keeps your hand on your, your right uh, right thumbstick in order to get some some tracking of targets going on and get some kills uh, and we've got yeah the default so yeah that that's that's all of them there uh, I hope from this video that you you learned something um, and and obviously I'm a little biased I like the sort of Call of Duty layout so because that's what I've been playing uh, most of but I, I hope you learned something and I, and I hope this was a, a bit educational for you uh, if you could hit that like button that would be great hit that subscribe would be even better and until next time I'll see you in the next video